All right. Hello and welcome back to the Content Code Podcast. My name is Fallon. It's like Jimmy Fallon, but it's my first name. I just picked up my daughter from daycare and we're on our ride home. So I wanted to come to you and talk a lot about mindset and how important mindset is when you literally do anything in your business. It could be content creation. It could be selling. It could be like conversations that you have with people in the DMs. It can be literally anything, literally anything, creating a program, creating your offer suite. And if you're not in the right frame of mind, fucking forget it. It's not going to last. Okay. I'm going to tell you what happened in, um, 2022 because 2022 was basically, I basically took the year off from my online business and I started out the year. I was three months pregnant by the time that January, 2022 rolled, 2022, yeah, rolled around. I had been pregnant October, November, November, December, December to January. So I was three months pregnant with my daughter at the time. And I was kind of in this like holding pattern, even until she was born, because I could have very easily just launched something. But the problem was, and I actually did launch a membership in 2022. But the problem that I was experiencing was that I had absolutely zero momentum in my business. I had zero community to really sell to. I had people on my email list, but because there was nothing happening for so long, when nothing happens, nothing happens. Something that I say is I relate business to the laws of physics. And so when a business is at rest, it tends to stay at rest, whereas a business in motion will continue to stay in motion. And my business was very much so at rest. And even though I was trying my DM disc to get my business to move and to get into motion and to do something, it's really hard to do that when it's just you. So I wanted to do something for so long and I had invested in coaches. I had invested in programs. I had invested in a mastermind, but to no avail, nothing was happening. So I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to try this membership. I'm going to try and launch this membership. We're going to see what happens. And if something happens, great. If nothing happens, like I fail. But my point of really trying to release that membership was because I wanted to introduce a reoccurring revenue model into my business. And what wound up happening was I had two people join the membership. And instead of looking at it with the mindset of, wow, two people joined this membership, I'm going to show up and serve the freaking hell out of them. I showed up as like, well, this is a fucking failure. Nobody joined. It's not going anywhere. And it's just going to be like this forever. And, you know, not long after I did have another sign up, you know, I did eventually have three people and the third person wound up canceling early and she didn't really stick around and she never came to any calls, even though I was like trying to get her to join the calls because if she was involved with other people, then I'm sure she would have stuck around. But I mean, to its own point, All of those things that happened in 2022 were more or less a lesson to show me that my mindset was in the fucking shitter and I needed to, you know, really, really revamp the way that I looked at things going into 2023. And what I have done for the last collective seven months is work on my mindset. I have been listening to only positive propaganda. I have been involved in only the things that I really truly want to be involved in and signing up for the things that I really truly want to do. And if I don't want to do it, then I have been like, no, I, I'm not going to do it. Or like, if I feel this like internal battle almost even too, like this internal struggle, not necessarily that it's a struggle, but like if I'm really considering something like a program or a mentor and it's just it's like making me feel massive FOMO or urgency then I am like really taking my time on whether or not I'm going to do it because if I'm feeling FOMO or urgency then that means that they're triggering some kind of lack or scarcity in me 
instead of empowering me to come to a decision that I am going to be really okay with and like I'm going to want to move forward with and I'm going to see results from. So I've been a little weary, um, leery perhaps is the word of what I do this year. And it's all because I want to make sure that I'm in a good frame of mind. Like I spent a lot of 2022 just like in the shitter and don't get me wrong. I've had my fair share of days, even now in 2023, where I like sit down and I question whether or not this is something that I want to do. Like I've been doing this for, you know, this is going on six years now. And Granted, for the first three years, it was more or less like I didn't really, like I did the content, like I filmed the content, but I didn't post it because I was too afraid of like, well, what if somebody sees me online or like, what if somebody makes fun of me or like, what if somebody doesn't like what I have to say, right? Like these very shallow surface level issues. And then in 2020 and 2021, like the kind of like the end of 2020 into 2021 and for a majority of 2021, we did really, really well, like basically $40,000 in 2021. And I was like investing in people and I was learning the ropes and I finally was like, okay, like I can really start to see a difference in what this space can bring in terms of opportunity. I was like, wow, this is definitely possible. Like there, there should be no issue to reach six, six figures. And like, here I was and I made five figures that year and it was because at the end of the day of community and of the people who I was surrounded with and because of the groups that I was in and when you have something that happens and this is this is a podcast episode. The thing that happened was I had a massive falling out with someone online. And when we're going to talk about that in a different episode, when you have something like that happen and they essentially show their true colors and they really, I don't want to say cut you out, but that's more or less what happened, right? It really they cut you out of their community, they cut you out of their, um, any events that are going on, they cut you from the opportunity and the possibility of something continuing to build and grow and scale in your own business. And so that's why like people always say to build your email list because you don't own social media. And yes, there absolutely is truth to that, but really it should be, really be build your own. Yeah, I know. Mm -mm -mm. It should be really like build your own tribe, build your own community, build your own movement. Because if you are just spending your days, you know, posting on social and then like crossing your fingers and hoping that somebody's going to buy, trust me, it's not going to work. And like more or less it's getting people to believe in you and believe in the movement that you are putting out into the world. And that's when people is, they're going to sign up for your shit like left and right. And like, I think that it really goes to speak to this whole, you know, point that I keep kind of touching on and coming back to in this episode of like, I don't even remember what I was saying because now Penelope's like, er, 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 er. she has something to say on this episode too, clearly. But it really does have a lot to do with, oh, mindset. That's what I was talking about. Um, and when you are in a shitty mindset, you're not going to really attract people. Like people are going to be repulsed. Like they're going to be repelled by you. So showing up in that and having a good mind frame is going to be what people are attracted to. And when you have a good mindset, when you have a good frame of mind, then you're going to only attract good results and good things. When you have a shitty attitude and a shitty frame of mind, you're going to attract shitty results. Okay. It's your reticular activating system on high and that's just how your brain works. And that's, it's like, everybody's looking for the hack or the magic pill. And like, how can I make this happen faster? Here's how you make it happen faster. Lie to yourself and make it serve you. That's it. Like, 
you can literally think that you're not making any money and that's going to make you believe that you're not making any money and then you're not going to make any money. But if you sit here and you say to yourself, everything that I do is pushing me closer and closer to the life that I dream of for myself, no matter how small of a step it might be, every single step that you take is going to push yourself closer and closer to the life that you desire for yourself. And it might be even just 1%, but 1% is better than nothing. It's better than going backwards for shit sure. So think about that. And even going backwards sometimes is necessary for you to realize what it is that's important for you to go forward. If I didn't have that year in 2022, and if I didn't experience what I did at the end of 2021, where I had a fought with a coach, then I would have never had a shitty year in 2022. And I would have never been where I am right now in 2023, where I'm talking about it on a podcast episode that like, yeah, okay, I'm driving my fucking car, and yeah, my daughter's in the back, but you want to know what? I think that really speaks to the fact that I am really committed to showing up and doing this, and making it real, and making it happen. So, consider that the next time that you go to create content, or you go to create a community, or get somebody's email, or push your lead magnet, or your freebie, or your program, whatever. Your mind frame is everything. The way that you look at it is absolutely essential. And you can look at it as this is a shitty thing that happens. Or you can look at it as this was necessary for me to understand what it takes. This is necessary for me to see what it's going to require of me. And for me to actually go out and do those things to take those actions. So I would really like hammer in on that and take the time to do what it is that you need to to get yourself in the right frame of mind. Yeah, that's okay. Do you need this? She dropped her bottle. Take the time that, to do what you need to do to get yourself in the right frame of mind. And that might be listening to a really good, positive mindset kind of podcast. That might be listening to music. That might be going to the gym. Whatever it is, do it. Because it makes you feel good and it makes you get yourself into the right frame of mind for you to take positive steps moving forward. So that's what I want to really hit home on on today's podcast episode. These are really short, quick tidbits, but I really like them and it actually makes my drive a hell of a lot easier because I feel like I'm coaching and I feel like I'm mentoring even on my ride home. And I know that at the end of the day, this is going to this is going to be the 1%. This is the 1% forward. This is the one thing that I can do each and every day that is going to build up and add up to the reality that I know is in my future. So with all that being said, I want to quickly talk about the content code. The content code is my signature framework to create epic content that you can put out for your business. That way, you can grow your visibility, you can grow your audience, and in turn, you can also start to see more clients and sales come in. So, the content code is going to be available starting in August. What we're going to go over is basically taking your content and turning it from shitty content into sparkly content, and we are going to have literally all of the all the things that you could think of. Bi-weekly calls, you get a content audit in the beginning, a one-on-one content audit, group boxer so that you can get not only support from me, but support from other people in the program to help you in your content creation, your content strategy for your business, for your social media. We're going to be going over that and so much more. You're going to have access to a video library and all the modules so that instead of taking time to teach you, you have the access to the modules so that you can more or less learn on your own time. And then when you come to the calls with me, I am able to provide you with the support that it is that you need and the guidance and the mentorship that you need so that you can take quantum jumps in your content and in your business. So that is going to be for August of 2023. At the time of this recording, it is July of 2023. Make sure that you check out the link down below in the show notes so that you can get all the information and sign up for 
the content code. Um, I think I've said this in previous episodes. I don't know how much longer I am going to be offering the code framework just due to the fact that it's something that I came up with in 2021 and I definitely feel like I have changed and learned and grew so much in the last two years that there are other things that I know I can offer that are going to be way more epic to create change for you and your content and your business. So that is going to be linked up down below in the show notes. Um, Also, last thing, I always appreciate reviews, and I've said this on the last few episodes, that the first 50 people to leave a review, screenshot it, and share it on their Instagram stories and tag me are going to receive a gift bag in the mail, and that's just because, like, I have so much appreciation, number one, for you taking the time to write a review and let me know what it is that you think of the podcast and what you have been able to take away from it, but also because I want to give this stuff away. (laughs) Um, It is just more or less an energy vacuum for me right now. And I want to put it in the hands of people who are going to be able to use it. So be sure to leave a review, screenshot it, share it on Instagram stories and tag me in that story so that I can get the alert to send you um, a message and grab where the package has to go. Um, All in all, that is it for today's episode. I'm really excited to continue to dive in deeper. I know that I also have a human design expert coming in. A self-discovery guide is her technical title. And we are going to be talking about how your human design plays into your business. Yeah, I know that's your favorite topic. I know! I know they're going to love that episode. I know. And she's going to talk. Okay. She's going to talk to us everything about how your human design plays into your business. She's going to give us a couple of overviews into gates and channels and um, the centers that are important for you to pay attention to and how you can basically more or less use your human design to your advantage in your online business. So be sure to stick around and stay tuned for that. Subscribe, follow, download the podcast. Let me know if you have any urging desires to listen to. Just shoot me a DM and I'll make the content because your girl likes to fucking make content. In any case... Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for tuning into this episode. And I cannot wait to talk to you in the future. Okay, bye.